If you know anything about Eddie from other Tekken games, one of three thoughts probably come to your mind. Either Eddie is a scrub friendly mashing character, or a character full of matchup knowledge checks, or a character that's only seen success at a high level by a few players. But this is Tekken 8, and Eddie's had a major moveless shakeup with an emphasis on more of a mix up style instead of being a mid range poking character. So, in this video, let's test to see if each of these presumptions are true, starting with mashing. First, I have to give a big shout out to Bandai Namco for sponsoring this video and to check out a character I was already interested in checking out. Okay, so not gonna lie, I just wanted an excuse to mash and rank and I tried a few different matching strategies and I can confidently say the best strategy is just mashing three. It's honestly probably up there with Victor's 2222 strings in terms of effectiveness. He's definitely a high tier masher at the very least. To talk about why this is pretty effective, we have to break down Eddie since it cycles through a few of his best moves and he's actually not as complicated as you might think. So Eddie has two stances, Bandiera, which is his hand stance stance, and Negativa, which is his relaxed stance when he's on the ground. The first 3-3 is a quick safe mid-mid string that puts him in the handstand. Honestly, it seems like one of his best quick mid pokes from mid-range. Even on block, it's only minus three and you have counterplay options like evasion or using a power crush after on block. On hit, it gives you access to a mix-up. The second part of this matching sequence, 3-3-3, three, 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 is a mid-high-high. High. That's a pretty decent move used for combos or on a hard read on your opponent trying to mash after you transition to handstand. On hit, this gives you a full combo, but on block, you're actually only minus five. This also happens to put you in Eddie's second stance, Negativa, which can low profile some moves. The last 3-3 three, three here is Eddie's new Hell Sweep, which is a great high risk, high reward, low option out of Negativa stance. And that's how you mash up Eddie. Now, obviously this is really easy to beat. Just block the 3-3 three, three and challenge with anything decently fast or duck the follow up high to the 3-3-3. Three, three, three. But thankfully there's so much more to the character. So let's talk about why even at high level, people are saying Eddie has potential. Let's start by looking at some of his best moves. So you may have noticed after Eddie's Hell Sweep, it gives him access to a buff. This is called Mandinga, which you can get up to two charges per round. This unlocks two different moves. And honestly, both of these moves are good, especially the low move on stages that have ground break. You can get crazy damage from an unseeable low that's not even launch punishable on block. I don't know the combo here, right? But you get the idea. You can get a full combo off that. And then the mid. Yeah, so this moves plus on block and it has some evasion too, which is kind of nice. So it's a pretty good move and it's worth getting this Manding above. And that's where Eddie's down back 4-4 four four comes into play. So Eddie's down back four is a mid high. Uh, this move is pretty good, especially because the range that it has for 17 frames, quite nice. You can't really hit confirm the second hit, but you can at least like, if you see they're crouching or if you see they stick out a, a move, you can kind of hit confirm this. State hit confirm, I, I don't know what to call it. And this move on hit gives you a Mandika buff. Now you're gonna be using this in two different ways. One to just like kind of just throw it out there. They run into it, you know, do the follow up. I think it's a pretty good whiff punisher just because of the range and the speed. And the other thing is you just end a lot of his combos in it, right? This is a really good mid-screen combo ender. Um, puts them far away, but you get the buff and run up and do okie, right? But using them, these Mandinga moves don't even matter if you can't get the hit. So let's talk about some of his other really great tools in neutral. And I think this is one of the best in class moves he has, 443. This move is insane. You're going to see Eddie's be spamming this move. It's a plus on block low, or no. That'd be insane. <laughs> it's a plus on hit low that goes into his negativa stance. Now, obviously, after the if if this hits on the negativa, you can go brand the hell sweep, and you can go for that mix-up. You can get the buff, or you can go for a mid option like four three. Now it's unsafe, but it's also heat engager, and you can kind of get the party started from that. But this move is not just a plus on block low. It low profiles, as you can see, he kind of like ducks to the ground, and on counter hit, you can link this four two. It's a little tricky. There we go. And if you're already in heat, yeah, I don't know the combo, uh, it's still early. But you can heat engage and then <laughs> you get the idea. <laughs> you can do a crap ton of damage from an unseeable low on counter hit. So very, very good move. You would think that a low that does all of this on block would be launch punishable. Yeah, it's only minus 13. <laughs> So it's absolutely insane move, absolutely insane move. So he also has a few moves that go into handstand. I think this is probably his best one, which is his 4-4-4-3. Four, 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 it's a wild running move. Obviously, it's a little slow, but you you get plus frames. So pretty typical wild running move. Plus eight is significant, right, compared to other wild running moves. And 
Okay, leaves him a hand stance, which means you get mixed potential, right? So four, 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 three, very good move. Goes in the hand stance, you're plus eight. Can't really go wrong here. Now you have a few different options, right? You can go for your three, three, three that we talked about before to kind of catch mashing or to catch like any disrespectful option. Uh, but my go-to option here would be the one. So this one, uh, it's plus on block, obviously a knock knocks down the hit, but let's say they block everything. You do the one and now you're back in relaxed state. And then you can go for the same exact mix up we talked about before. As you can see, the flow chart with him is, is pretty potent, right? He's not nearly as complicated as he looks because you're only really transitioning between a couple of different stances. Let me put it this way. I think other characters have more complexity than just having to deal with two stances. It looks a lot more intimidating than he actually is. All right, so let's talk about his other really, really good move. So three plus four, uh, this is actually a new move. This move is absolutely cracked. This is a heat engager, but it's only minus nine. It's a, it's a nine, <laughs> minus nine mid heat engager. Has pretty decent range. But the other thing is it it's just straight up blue profiles, right? So you see he kind of ducks here. Uh, so like, let's say they're trying to do jab, you punish with the, the heat engager and then you start your party, right? Another heat engager I really, really like is this move right here. It, it reminds me a lot of uh, Victor's back one plus two, where it's just a high armor move that's safe on block. Uh, this this move has like surprisingly good range. Like it reaches from like almost all the way back here. So anyways, once Eddie is in heat, he has like access to a couple moves and I think they're both really, really strong. The first move is quarter circle four. And this move is a plus nine on block high that puts him into negativa stance. And he, as you know, <laughs> as a lot of frames that go into a mix up stance and you can obviously like go into hell sweep and start mixing, mixing their shit, right? You also have three plus four. And this is a plus nine on block mid that goes in a hand stance, right? So depending on like how many Mandinga charges you have, like maybe if you have two Mandinga charges, then you go straight into the hand stance stance and do your mix up there. But if you don't, then you go into relaxed stance and then you, you know, mix up there. Or if you just have a read, they're gonna, you know, duck, then you go for the mid. Both those moves seem extremely strong while in heat. The other move that everyone's talking about is his down forward one. Now, it looks like a standard down forward one. You have a uh, high extension here that's safe on block, but obviously you can duck it, get a punish, and then all the mind games that come around with that. But it's the tracking on this move that I think is uh, surprising a lot of people. All right, so we'll do, <laughs> like, this looks like it shouldn't hit. Because you should be able to step this to the uh, left, but um, yeah, you just, you just get hit. <laughs> Kind of crazy. But yeah, so the tracking on this is really good. Another move that I think has really good tracking is this back one. Again, a move that looks like it should be able to be stepped to the left. It's not be able to step to the left. And of course you can't step this to the right either. Yeah, very good. So where's this character actually at? He obviously has a lot of different strong tools and it seems like a pretty well-rounded kit. I honestly don't know. It's obviously, it's too early to tell. To me, he seems very well-rounded. It seems like he has all the tools to win. But again, uh, Tekken's a very complex game and it's only week one. I've heard people call this character OP because of some of the moves we just listed. And I've s seen some people say this character's not very good because of all the moves that were not ported over from Tekken 7 to Tekken 8. So who's actually to say but i want to show you guys what high level gameplay with this character looks like and to do that we'll rely on rang chu who is the first person to get the highest rank in tekken which is god of destruction all right now i know this replay says john ding but rang chu switched his name <laughs> from well i guess during during the grind for whatever reason he switched his name from rang chu to john ding it threw me off for like 10 minutes but no, this is actually rang chu john ding is also playing this character and he's like he's like number four on the leaderboards when i check uh but rang chu's number one so we're gonna use him like seriously i was like cross-referencing john ding's <laughs> youtube i'm like wait what the <laughs> I'm like, I already watched John Ding. This is so confusing. Yeah, the thing, these guys baited me. So like I said, I, I think this move is the GOAT. Um, obviously, Rank Chu is abusing this really, really early. And then you go in the mix here, right? Uh, it looks like, yeah, so they went for like a staggered. Yeah, so that's a delay 4-3. That move's pretty good. Going to plus on block, plus on block. As you can see, they have, that mix is crazy. Oh, I forgot to mention that move, right? So. After handstands, we talked about like how to check the mid. We talked about how to get plus frames, but you also have an unbreakable grab in handstand. And that's what this was. It's just throw in handstand. One, one plus three. And yeah, that looks super dominant. As you can see, 12 game win streak. This guy has been cooking people with, uh, with his characters. This is actually the match ranks you use to get 
into God Destruction, which is the highest rank in Tekken 8. Oh, good punish. I believe that's a punish. Yeah, so you see I ended the combo in um, the down back 4-4 four, four, just to get that stock, right? And you still get like pretty decent okay. You can run up, try to bait your response. Uh, we don't tech throws. We don't need the tech throws. We're playing Eddie Gordo. Oh, good conversion off that. That's kind of sweaty. Get the Mandinga buff. Now we have two Mandinga buffs. Let's see if, see if we do the, uh, the powered up moves. Oh, he just sent the heat. <laughs> yeah, he just, he just sent the heat activation. That was, that was good. Yeah, he has a fast mid one. I think the fast mid ones are really, really strong in this game. And Eddie has one of that, one of them too. That's the down four one four. Of course, you can duck that. I'm um, down four one three, but you can duck that. Yeah, at least you have pretty good spacing too. It looks like good duck and punish. Wow, that was really good recognition. You go in the plus frames. Oh, duck the grab. So that was the, uh, again, the command grab there. Uh, the Lily player ducked that, got a full punish. Well, try to get a full punish at least. Eh. Brand heat smash. Yeah, that moves uh, pretty good. Oh, here comes the mix. Yeah, down four. <laughs> down four, one for the win. Yeah, again, you, can, you see that Lily has one of the best side steps in the game. It looks like that caught the side step. So, kind of use all the basic tools that we talked about. Nothing too crazy. I think this character has a lot of like more gimmicky moves and a lot of like extra depth to him that you know like on week a uh, week one of a character you're not really gonna see but ranks you using the fun mills and the key moves with eddie to kind of win there anyways let me know what you guys think about this character i think he's sick uh definitely gonna be playing him on the side i need a new character to pick up after they nerf victor's throws anyways <laughs> And uh, thank you again for Bandai Namco sponsoring. Check the link down in the description below if you're looking to play Tekken. This game is quite fun. I enjoy it. Anyways, like, share, subscribe if you want to see more Tekken content. And take care, y'all. Peace.